Now here's a novelty. <laughs> Actually reading the destructions before we start. Um, very clear pictorial instructions with this kit. It is a very... It, this is a new kit but it's from a very old set of moulds. I don't know when they first made this kit but it's, it's, it's very very basic and simple. I suspect that this first was made when the car was new so that would be 1960s or something and oh we've, we've got instructions here uh, let's see where are we yep 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 I get all of absolutely yep okay it tells us a little bit about where are we there we are it tells us a little bit about the car itself tells us how triumph heralds were introduced in 1959 i never had one i've never driven one my memory of them was that they were afflicted with rust on the chassis um, everyone I knew who had one was always talking about having the outriggers welded up and by outriggers they mean the chassis members that come out uh, underneath the front seats so I don't actually know much about the Triumph Herald I always thought they were pretty and the few times I sat in one, I also thought they were very small. But then I had a Ford Cortina, 